number one collector's coin in America today is hands down the Morgan Silver Dollar. Struck from 1878 until 1921 during its initial run, it's considered by many to be the true coin of the American Wild West. One thing many Morgan Dollar collectors have to learn is that not every silver dollar is made alike. And just because a coin has a larger mintage, it does not mean that it's any easier to find today. Tonight we have a coin I like to call a modern day collecting secret. It is a coin that has one of the lowest populations in the Morgan Dollar series known today. It's the 1903 Philadelphia Mint Morgan Dollar in beautiful uncirculated condition despite being over 120 years old. This coin has less than 1% of its entire mintage still known to exist today in any condition whatsoever. In fact, the number is almost just three quarters of 1%. That's how rare this coin is. It's item number 905-1620. 905-1620. And we are just $129.95 per coin tonight. And at that price for an uncirculated Morgan dollar struck by the Philadelphia Mint back in 1903, we are at least $169 less than our nearest competition for this stunning silver dollar from the Mother Mint. You can call in at 1-866-518-5933. Or if you don't want to go on the phone tonight, you can head over to our website, abccoins.com. Head to the search bar on the page on your top right-hand side and put 905-1620, 905-1620 to grab a Morgan dollar struck by the Philadelphia Mint that has a smaller population today than the rare 1878 eight tail feather, the coin that was only struck for a short 11-day period and had a mintage of just 750,000 total coins. Yet this coin here has a smaller population known today. Now the Philadelphia Mint in 1903 would strike 4.6 million total Morgan dollars. Not a very small mintage in the Morgan dollar series, but also not a very large one. It comes in at number eight among Philadelphia Mint Morgans. And out of all Morgan dollars, regardless of mint of origin, out of all 97, it comes in at number 47. And yes, I said 97, not 96. I consider the eight tail feather coin and the seven tail feather coin to be two separate coins, especially tonight when I am directly comparing the two to this 1903 to show you just how rare it really is. So despite coming at number 47 out of all Morgan dollars in the entire series, regardless of mint of origin with 4.6 million total coins struck, NGC and PCGS population reports today show just 35,936 total coins. And that might sound like a lot. When you break that down against the 4.6 million total coins, that comes down to just one in every 129 coins struck. And when you put that down to a percentage, it's 0.77% of the entire mintage. And that's in any condition whatsoever from VGs all the way up to beautiful MS-64 and fives, every single coin they had, and still less than 1% of the entire mintage is known to exist in any condition whatsoever today. With a population report that small, just 35,936, it means it has a smaller population report today than that 1878 eight tail feather coin. That was the coin that was released initially by the U.S. Mint that had to have its design immediately changed because people complained about the number of eagle's feathers on the back. They thought that the eagle had an odd number of feathers, not even, so they changed the design. As a result, they would strike only 750,000 total coins with that design, and it would be only struck for a short 11-day period. Yet despite having a disparity of 4.6 million total coins to 750,000, there are currently 38,895 known examples of the 1878 eight tail feather. And that eight tail feather coin is the fourth rarest P-Mint in the entire series and the 15th rarest Morgan dollar of all time. And this coin has about two and a half thousand fewer known examples in their population reports today. But let's compare it to some other really rare Morgan dollars. 
This 1903 is a highly sought after Morgan dollar, but it doesn't have the awe-inspiring rarity of a Carson City Morgan dollar when you look at the mintages. However, if you actually look at the population reports today, this coin has a smaller population than the top two Carson City Mint Morgan dollars of all time. The 1885 CC and the 1881 CC. Two of the rarest Morgan dollars ever made by mintage. And there are currently today, of the 85 CC, 57,595 known coins in any condition whatsoever. For the 1881 CC, over 57,026 total coins. So we're talking 20,000 plus more known examples than this 1903P, and we're just 129.95. That 85 CC, a coin in very fine condition, is gonna cost you over $1,700. For that 81 CC, you're looking at at least $1,100. This coin is rarer than both of them and is just 129 dollars 95. That's $1,500 less than the 85 cc and over $1,000 less than the 81 cc. When you can find this 1903 Philadelphia Mint Morgan dollar with our competition, a beautiful uncirculated coin would cost you well over $299. We are more than $169 less at just $129.95. And these 1900s Philadelphia Mint Morgan dollars have become some of the hardest to find today in collecting due to the fact that after the 1918 Pittman Act, the vast majority of the Morgan dollars melted down were those that were struck most recently. So as a result, the coins that did survive those melt-offs ended up circulating even more across the United States, which resulted in very few of these coins surviving today in any condition whatsoever, let alone a beautiful uncirculated piece. In fact, we did find the 1903 Philadelphia Mint Morgan dollar with our competition in heavily circulated condition, and they still wanted over $160 for that coin. Our beautiful uncirculated pieces are more than $30 less at just $129.95. So that's over $170 less than their uncirculated coins and more than $30 less than their heavily circulated coins for a beautiful 1903 Philadelphia Mint Morgan dollar in stunning uncirculated condition despite being over 120 years old. Coins this rare do not come around that often and when they do, they disappear quickly. At more than $170 less than our nearest competition, these coins are sure to disappear and do so fast. Call in now and grab yours while you still can.